time is it? You know what that is? And dinner. The time. When I was growing up, my dad worked midnights. My mom worked pretty late, too. So me and my sisters had a lot of dinners at Cindy and my aunt's house. It was kind of fun. Because you get to eat the stuff that you don't always get to eat at home. Stuff like this. Same label, same everything. Feels like 10, maybe 10, 15. Let's say 10, 15. So when Cindy stole this, it was no accident, Malcolm. She was sending a message to me. A message? For eight years, you beat her down to where she could barely look up. But when my sister saw at that intersection, Cindy knew. She knew I would come for her. So she was letting me know that she's still in there, that she's alive and she's waiting. She wouldn't do that. Oh, yes, she would. She had a whole store full of food to choose from, Malcolm, and she chose that. She fought you for as long as she could, and now she's fighting you again, and you can't handle that, can you? What time is it? You know, it's funny, but you keep mentioning the time. You had 20 minutes from the store to your arrest. You knew we were coming. Why didn't you run? You could have easily got away, but you didn't. So something must have slowed you down. Cindy slowed you down, didn't she? And you knew you couldn't be found with a crying, bleeding prisoner in your car, so you kicked her to the curb. You wish it could be that easy, but it's not. Then explain it to me. What don't I know, Malcolm? You don't know what she became. You don't know the love she had for me. Had? You just said had, past tense. You have a love if she's alive. You had one if she's dead. What did you do to her? Morgan. No, no, you didn't have enough time to dispose of the body properly, and we know that, and we will find her. Morgan, out. And when we do, I will personally nail your ass to the wall. That's what time it is, bitch. Is it 10.30 now? Bet it is. Yeah, feels like 10.30.